Good afternoon all. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at Lenson's folding 160 watt solar panel um, which folds into this sort of convenient square. It's about 22 inches wide, about 21 inches high, not including the handle. There's a little pouch on the front which on this model contains the cables with MC4 connectors. Uh, on the other model it contains a solar charge controller but this one doesn't have that. I don't really need it because I've got my own. So it's very compact because it's very uh, thin. So that's the full uh, 160 watts of the folding solar panel. And you can see that um, the form factor when it's folded up is quite compact, especially if you compare it with those two solar panels, which are 80 watts each. So you'd have to carry uh, those two to get the equivalent 160 watts. Okay, let's check some of the um, spec by doing some voltage and current measuring tests. So there it is with the four supports out. Um, you can see that it's uh, angled up pretty much towards the sun. And uh, if I come down here, you'll be able to see these supports. They're just a sort of rigid arm with a strap to stop it slipping back. And there are four of those. Right, I've hooked up the uh, DMM using these MC4 connectors and I'm getting uh, 20.75 so a little below the 21.24 um, that the website says. Now let's try uh, short circuit current. So for this I've just folded the outer two panels over the inner two so that it's pretty much closed off because I am going to short the two MC4 connectors together so if I can get them out of the meter Yes, I'm going to plug the positive one into the negative one. I can't do that one-handed. I'll uh, come back in a second. Right, those are shorted together. Let's now uh, get the meter. It's on DC amps. Let's just zero that out and put that around the cable so that I can measure the short circuit current when I unfold these panels again. Right, I'm getting 7.2 amps. Now there are a couple of things. Uh, firstly, it's not uh, June the 21st, it's actually uh, September the 20 something. So we're halfway between, well, we're nearly at the um, equinox. There are a couple of slight shadows on here, which are actually um, untrimmed next door neighbor's hedge. So it's not an entirely, I could cut those off, but um, that's not going to make a huge difference. But yeah, we're certainly down on current um, because we're not getting full strength sun. The sun is out, but this is a late September sun. So now I'm going to rig up um, a system with some batteries and a solar charge controller, an MPPT solar charge controller, uh, because I want to see how many watts I can get out of these solar panels. Um, in these slightly less than ideal conditions, but uh, we do want to see how much power this panel can develop. Right, here's my setup. I've got the uh, Lensun foldable solar panel uh, with no shadows on it, just the shadow of this garden solar light is just clipping the edge of the panel, but it's not actually on uh, the solar cells. I didn't think of the positioning of this panel very well I'm afraid. Right down here round the back I've got two lead acid batteries in series. There's a strap up at the far end there. Um, that's because this solar charge controller which um, is MPPT, it's the MPT7210A, um, is a step up. It's a boost charge controller so I need to boost the approximately 18 volts coming from the solar panels. Um, I think I've set it to um, try to regulate to 17 and a half to maximize power. Um, this does a step up, so we need a battery voltage that's higher than the solar panel voltage. Now I've got a couple of um, car headlight bulbs, they're H4s, strapped across the batteries in series because they're only 12 volt bulbs. So that's drawing 100 watts off the batteries because they're fully charged, these batteries, which isn't very uh, good if you're trying to test the maximum power output of a solar panel. So I'm just discharging those a little bit and then we'll run a test 
and see how many watts, if I can see the display on this thing, see how many watts we can get out of this uh, solar charge controller. Now I also have a separate ammeter here because this device shows you um, the power going into the battery but of course that's happening at around 24 volts. Um, it shows us the volts, the amps and the watts going into the battery. That's really strobing badly isn't it? Um, this ammeter, and I've zeroed it out, is going to show the current coming from the solar panel which is going to be higher because it's happening at a lower voltage. Um, that current is going to be at 17.5 volts. The current here is going to be at the battery voltage which is 24 volts. But let's switch on the charge controller and see what we get. Right, so the top figure in red, which you can barely see, is attempting to maximise power uh, from the solar panel by getting it to about 17.5 volts. We've got about 24 volts on the battery. This really isn't showing up very well at all, is it? Let me see if I can get it to focus at least. Okay, so that's got it to focus. So we can see 16.7 or something uh, volts on the panel, 24.6 volts on the battery. Uh, we're getting 3.9, about nearly 4 amps, 96 watts. Uh, on this meter, of course, we've got 6.5 amps. That's the current coming from the solar panel at 17.5 volts. Uh, that is transformed or converted by the boost converter down to 4 amps. And yes, I'm getting 97 watts into these batteries. These lamps are still on, ensuring that the batteries don't top out so that we have um, continuous current flowing into those batteries. So I'm not getting 160 watts, not yet, um, I'm getting about 100 watts. So I just thought I'd try taking those um, two car headlight bulbs off, see if that makes a difference. It doesn't really, the battery voltage of course is going up and that uh, will top out at I think 27 volts, so 2 times 13 and a half. Still only managing to get uh, 97 watts out of this panel though. Um, the other way to do this of course is to take the voltage of the solar panel which is bobbing around like crazy but is it, is it something like around 16 volts on average and multiply that by the current from the solar panel which is about 6.8 amps so 16 times 6.8 I'll just switch to the calculator and uh, that calculation gives about 110 watts now that can be explained by the fact that um, this is a boost converter, so we're going to lose 10% or so in the boost conversion process. And this is telling me the power entering the battery rather than the power coming from the solar panel. So understandably, uh, the power on the solar panel side, that current multiplied by that red voltage at the top, about 16 volts, um, gives probably a more accurate representation of the power coming out of the solar panel. So I'm getting about 110 watts. And uh, having just checked the specs and discovering that the VMP is quoted as 18 volts, I've set that to 18 volts. It's got at about the high 17s, but that doesn't seem to have lifted the power much. In fact, if anything, it's dropped it slightly. Um, the current on the panels is lower, 5.4. The voltage is higher, of course. Nah, actually, it doesn't seem to have made that much difference. We're still getting approximately 100 watts. Uh, into the battery and uh, now with the Sun having gone behind this uh, big cloud let's see what we're getting now and we're getting about 15 watts just under and uh, now I'm occasionally seeing 120 watts I think that's after the Sun went behind a cloud and the panel cooled down so of course with a cooler panel we get higher voltages, but it doesn't show that, it's still 17, 16, 17 volts. But yeah, sustained 120 watts into the battery. Um, if you add 12, which is 10% for the uh, conversion process, the boost conversion process, that gives us a maximum panel side of around 132, 133 maybe watts. Uh, that's pretty good for the end of September. So there we are. I think um, 130 or so watts in late September sun is uh, not at all bad. 
So let's uh, fold this solar panel back up into its compact form. Tests done. Okay, so let's fold this outer panel in, this outer panel in, and uh, the support, you want to take the little ribbon there, attach it to that piece of Velcro, the support goes down over it, that's got Velcro, and that's nice and neat. So I'll just zip up the uh, front pouch, turn this thing on its top and do up these straps. They just clip in like that. And uh, then we just uh, attach the handle strap and uh, close that one up. And that's it, back in its compact form. Um, so that's it, that's the Lensun 160 watt uh, folding solar panel. It's quite thin, but it does give you in that form factor the equivalent power um, of these two 80 watt framed solar panels, but uh, in this form so that it's uh, manageable and you can carry it around and you can store it in your boat or RV or caravan or whatever you're living in. And uh, from what I can see it uh, mostly measures up to the specs, uh, especially considering that uh, I've done these tests in late September and we are at UK latitude which uh, is high enough up for me. Ah yes and right on cue there goes the sun. Cheerio.